oh, look, it's a charger. And I'm putting it into my book bag. Zoe, you should take some- I have money y'all it's deuce and today on the after show we are talking about grownish season two episode three new rules which by the way that whole rules concept was blowing me like there's rules for every little thing it was so unnecessary so i gotta adjust the change of scenery of course so i have some downtime in my free period so here i am in a library you know just chilling so um before i get to the review we gotta say these things i keep forgetting things so even i write this stuff down i forget this stuff so anyway follow me on twitter for live tweets and more information on my channel and grownish at producer posts you know that's where you can see where the t at um and i also i review movies and other black tv shows i mean black media so you should check that out um and i perform poetry and i put you on to black content so um y'all should definitely check that out and check out my last video of the year from 2018 where we talk about superheroes it's a lot of fun so yeah y'all should check that stuff out and um before we start just want to clarify what the after show is it's supposed to be just a a nice casual conversation about what happened all spoilers just so you know all spoilers in our favorite media. So without further ado, let's begin. Welcome to the Black Mirror episode of Grownish because all of Zoe's problems came from that freaking phone. Y'all know, y'all know, a lot of black parents, like it's because you on that phone all the time because of that damn phone. Well, that's actually what happened to Zoe. If she wasn't so, if she didn't have a phone, well, I guess, maybe, yeah, if she didn't have a phone, period, then she would not worry about, um, she would have no one to talk to Doug about, okay? She could enjoy the party. Then she wouldn't be um, having a phone die. She wouldn't have a panic attack because her phone died twice. She wouldn't miss any calls. So, but then you wouldn't get a call to begin with. But what I'm trying to say is she put a lot of importance on that phone. If she just let, if she just live in the moment because Doug wasn't doing anything. <laughs> oh well oh well if she want to do that that's on her and that's why she had a terrible episode but you know what what i will say is when she wakes up from her panic attack and luca's there comforting her that's like the only good moment of zuka in the entire series so i'll give them that <laughs> and um she th then they're such as clever your identical twin is here <laughs> and um you know what? Let's just talk about some of the characters right quick. So we're gonna start off with Luca. Um, he was low-key acting like Zoe in the beginning. Oh, so if I didn't pick up my phone, then it'd be a problem. But you know, I mean, basically he's jumping to conclusions because I can't think of like a good example, but he was jumping to mad conclusions and that was blowing me. Um, Y'all can see I'm just looking because I just want to make sure no one about to come over here and be like, hey, can I jump in your video? No, don't join my video, okay? This is no shade to y'all, but I need to make this video short and focused. So yeah, um, Luca was looking okay, at like Zoe about that freaking phone, jumping to conclusions about relationships and stuff. And um, Jazz was low key blowing me because I understand she was talking about um, she was talking about you and your man behind your back for forty two minutes, but I don't think it's that serious for you to not forgive her at the end. I don't know about that. I love the twins, but don't make me reconsider that. Cause y'all are my favorite characters. And then Anna needs to know who she's texting. How do you accidentally tweet? I mean, tweet. How do you accidentally text some, someone in the wrong group chat? And then the following, and then like have a habitual method because uh, Zoe said, oh, I didn't know if I accidentally got one of Anna's nudes. How do you accidentally get nudes multiple times for her to say, I didn't like, that was, that was, that means a habit. Fix it, Anna. <laughs> And then the other thing that happened this episode is Aaron's stupid party. Oh no. Okay, so at the party that Zoe and Doug um, had the whole thing with, that was Aaron's party at Hawkins. 
and I guess he thought it would be cool for a room advisor to throw a party, but it did not end well, okay? Because, you know, this isn't a dorm. I thought this was like some other place, like the, the common room or whatever. This is at a dorm. No, you can't do that. People are trying to sleep. So the police came and he was like, oh, po po. You, you gotta understand that we are here for the culture and they were not here for it and he got a ticket and he got, and he went to see the dean and personally I think we should focus on these RA stories I think they're, they're semi-interesting they're semi-interesting a lot more than Zoe pro, Zoe's this whole episode is what adults think that the youth think they're like wow my um my phone I have my life revolves around my phone and all this type of stuff. Like, I don't want them to have the satisfaction when they see episodes like this. But anyway, yeah, Aaron was sent to Dean Dion. <laughs> um, Telfy's real name, Dion Cole. And he was low-key intimidating. He got up close and he's telling him what his responsibilities were. And he's a, he's not a farmer. And he's stuck with these farmer dreams. I was, I was like, whoa, whoa, okay. So, um yeah i don't <laughs> i don't know if he's getting low he's power power tripping or whatever but that's what's happening and um wait what is that oh yeah so yeah he goes back and he throws the party again not learning his lesson and apparently to keep the police quiet he pays the popo he bribes them <sighs> It's not that serious. Just don't have the party. <laughs> Whatever. So yeah, it was a mess for him. So let me just cut to the end. So to recap, um, Zuka, I still think that that, sink, that ship's gonna sink, but they had that one moment. Zoe needs time off from the phone, just period. I think this is a better anti-social media episode than the one from last season. Um, what's it called? Jazz is... Normally her pettiness is okay, but now it's not. And I don't know if that's a problem for me or for her. <laughs> um, Aaron needs to get his priorities together. Vivek, um, I didn't say this earlier, but Vivek was like, oh yeah, for the culture, shut up. You're the, no, shut up. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. Just, just stop. Um, oh, and Nomi's a snake. She tried to throw everyone else under the bus. So she's fake and a snake, but I never really liked Nomi to begin with. Anna needs to know who she's texting because she don't know what to do. And Sky is still trying to take a nap and that's a mood. So anyway, that was this episode. Thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, comment what you think was the most trifling moment. <laughs> um, don't forget to check out all the other stuff I do on the channel. If this is your first time coming to the channel, thank y'all for giving me the time. I hope you liked it. And I will see y'all whenever with a new video. Don't be mad cause I'm doing me better than you doing you. Don't be mad cause I'm doing me better than you doing you. Don't be mad cause I'm doing me better than you doing you. Better than you doing you.